Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I've got a haul for you. I do not remember, I do remember the last time I did a haul, it was a couple of months ago, but I feel like that is a long time. So this haul is in collaboration with Social Little Thing. They are a London-based digital PR agency. They are very kindly sponsoring this video and they've sent me over some products from their brands to share with you guys. Some of these products I've chosen out myself, but the majority of them are surprises, so I am excited. Let's get straight into this. Okay guys, you are not ready for what I'm about to show you, so Ego wanted to send me a couple of bits and I chose out some shoes. <coughs> I've seen these all over Instagram and I just had to have them. You know I had to have them. Look at how beautiful and sparkly they are. So they're these thigh high, sparkly, kind of, I wanna say fishnet, is that fishnet? It's like nice and stretchy. The thigh is quite tight, I will say that. I've tried them on and it's very fitted, but that is what holds them up. Um, but these are just absolutely gorgeous. They've got like this plastic bit in the inside obviously to give it the shape of a shoe and then they've got like this kind of bit that holds your foot at the back. I love me with my technical terms, aren't I great? But the fact that it holds your foot makes them so, so comfortable and they are so sparkly. Like these little rhinestones are honestly so, like they catch the light amazingly. I love these. So I love those so much that I had to pick up the sock boot version. How gorgeous are these i mean ugh, just in like autumn and winter at parties if parties are really a thing by then maybe i'll just wear them in the house but ugh, how beautiful will these be with like a little dress the thigh high ones with a little mini dress would look so amazing and obviously these would look gorgeous too you could wear these with trousers or anything like i absolutely <gasps> I die, I die. I also chose out these clear heels. I feel like these are just such a staple, aren't they? You can dress them up on a night out, but if you want to do like simple glam during the day, these are so amazing with that. Obviously they go with jeans and just like a nice shirt or a t-shirt. You can wear them like with literally anything and because these are nude I feel like they will literally go with any outfit and I like these clear ones because I feel like they're just very very understated and like I said you can wear them during the day without it being like wow she's wearing like a full-on glam outfit it kind of just adds like a little touch of glam do you know what I mean next up I've got some bits from Cosa Bella they are an Italian brand and they do such nice underwear so I picked out a couple of bits I picked out these little leopard print kind of mesh knickers I absolutely love these they've got quite a lot of stretch in them they're comfy because they're a full brief but also the fact that they're mesh and they're not like overly large makes them really sexy and I just really, really like these. Oh my word, I am in love. I do not remember choosing this out. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, but look at this gorgeous robe. That is stunning. Oh, I love like the floral detail and the fact that it's mesh as well. That is so beautiful and it's got like this silky satin tie. Oh, I really, really, really like that. And I picked out this black mesh bra just because you can't have enough bras like this. I wear this type of bra all the time and I like the fact that it was mesh but it's double layered so it's not too see-through so it's nice for just every day but it's also got a little bit of a sexy vibe which I absolutely love. And I've got these super cute bottoms, right? Look at these. I love the mesh slash lace situation but then the back you have the band and then it's just like open until you get to this bit so a little bit of your bum pops out how cute is that next i have some products from like it on top they are a vegan skincare brand which i'm really excited to try because these products look so nice so i've got this product it's called filth and i've got a little note here that tells me what these are so this is dirt cleansing 
protection. And the ingredients are jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, pumpkin seed oil, glycerin, vitamin E and lemongrass oil. I like how it lists all of the ingredients. So it says use filth for dirt cleansing protection to remove buildup of oils and makeup. Apply two to three drops of filth into the palm of your hand and rub into the face using circular motion. There isn't much lather. May also be used on a dry face with cotton wool to remove makeup. I'm excited to use that. I do like an oil cleanser. And then we have this bright yellow one called Stroke. So this is double cleansing protection and it says that you're supposed to use this for double cleansing to even skin tone and reduce hyperpigmentation and this contains argan oil, ginger oil, turmeric, aloe vera, vitamin E, citric acid and something I can't read so I don't even know what that says desyl glucoside no idea but excited to use that and this one is absolutely gorgeous it's called fortify it's got little flower petals floating around in there how beautiful is that oh absolutely love so this is a toner and it contains rose rose floral water we love a bit of rose water so good for redness aloe vera citric acid vitamin e and pink rose petals that is so beaut and i've got a few bottles of this one so this one is called sustain and it's basically i think it's a facial oil it contains avocado oil argan oil almond oil rose hip oil rose petals vitamin e mandarin oil i guess you could really use that for anything and again look at how beautiful that is with the rose petals just in there how pretty so this says you're supposed to use it to protect and maintain your skin's hydration. It can support with acne, hyperpigmentation, uneven skin tone and plumping. I do love using oils on my face. Honestly, I think they're the best thing ever. Even if you have oily skin, I feel like they can really rebalance your skin. And I absolutely love using one on a night time. So I'm really excited to try these products. Ooh, I've got loads of press-on nails from Elegant Touch. We've got these gorgeous mauve ones, mauve madness. They're really pretty. They're like a nice oval shape. Oh, these peachy ones are cute. I love these. So these are called the Lux Lux doubled up. They're like part opaque peach and half like a kind of sheer peach. I really, really like those. And then we've got these pink striptease ones. Some of them have a glitter tip which is really cute. I like the shape of these ones as well. I love like a coffin nail shape. I tend to wear stick on nails like on a night out. I haven't been on a night out obviously in a really long time, but they're just so easy to just make your nails look good really, really quickly. They're such a good quick fix. And then we've got these really cute shorter ones. So these are their pre-glued Manny Insta Nails. Those are really cute as well. Some French pink ones, which are also quite short, so they should look quite natural. And then from Eyelure, I've got their lash tint. This is their permanent tint for lashes. My lashes are already quite dark, but I am intrigued by this because I see so many people using like lash tints and stuff and it makes their lashes look so much thicker. So I'm very tempted to use this even though I do have naturally dark lashes because I do think it might kind of thicken them up a bit. So I'm excited to give this a try. Oh, and then we've got some individual lashes. This is what I am missing. I've got so many pairs of lashes, but sometimes I like a really natural look and I like to use individuals and I just haven't got any at the moment. So these will definitely, definitely come in. They're so great for like during the day when you don't want to look like you're wearing lashes, but mascara just isn't quite cutting it. Oh, and then I've got their permanent tint for brows. <gasps> oh, do I do it? Again, I've got quite dark brows naturally, but I think that it might thicken them up and I do not have the thickest brows. So I'm very tempted to try this because I mean, if it doesn't kind of tint my brows, then that's fine because they're dark anyway. I know that my actual like hair doesn't take color. A lot of you guys always ask me like what color I dye my hair. I don't dye my hair. Every so often I'll do like a semi-permanent, but I haven't in ages. This is literally just my natural hair color and my eyebrows are like the same color. So yeah, my hair doesn't tend to hold color very well because it is so dark, but it means that I can try this and not worry and hopefully it will just thicken them out a bit. From Elegant Touch, right, this is what I have needed. I've been meaning to pick myself up one of these. It's a cuticle pusher and cleaner. 
the most like mundane thing but something that we all need um yeah my cuticles are not doing well at the moment so i'm very 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 happy to have this in my life oh do you know what it is i've been needing new nail files as well this is <laughs> why am i getting so excited about nail files i've honestly just been meaning to pick up some new nail bits and yeah I've been wanting some nail files, so I'm very happy about these. So from there, I've got their Luxury Exfoliating Mitt. That looks like a good mitt, doesn't it? That looks like it's big enough to do a good job. Very happy about that. We love a good exfoliation session around here. I've also got their Luxury Tanning Mitt as well. These are things that will always come in handy in my life. So I've got their Face Tanning Mist in medium. That's another thing that I don't have, like I always, when I tan, I just use a mousse and I watch other people's tanning routines and I see them using mists and it looks like a very good little addition so I'm excited to try this out. Also, oh, I didn't realise this, Bear is Vogue Williams brand. That's really cool that she's got her own tanning brand. So this is their self tan lotion in dark. We will definitely be using this. And then I've got their self tan eraser. Again, I've never tried a self tan eraser before, but it just looks like something that would be really, really handy. So I'm excited to use that. You know when you've exfoliated your tan, but there's like stubborn patches that won't come off? This is one of those things that I sometimes just need, but I've just never picked up. So again, very happy to have this. And their self tan foam in dark. We love a foam. We just love a foam. I'm familiar with a foam. I feel like when you're doing your tan, you have the formula that you go to. Do you know what I mean? Some people love a lotion. Some people love a mist. Some people love a foam. I'm a foam girl, but I am excited to try the other ones as well because I don't really use lotions. So I'm excited to see how I would actually get on with one. But yeah, how cute is the packaging as well? And then from Smug, I've got their Contoured 3D Blackout Sleep Mask. Shall we open this? Oh my gosh, this looks like the comfiest mask ever. Can you see that? It's like, it really is just like cushioned. I love that. That is coming away with me the next time I travel. It says, with a unique contoured dome design, the smug blackout mask leaves space around the eye area, removing any disturbance or friction caused by deep sleep rapid eye movement. <gasps> oh my God. Your immediate eye area is the most sensitive skin on your face, so a sleep mask is critical for anti-aging relaxing the eyes to reduce dark circles and puffiness we need a bit of that next i have this backpack from high spirit and this is so interesting because the zip is up the back i've never seen a backpack like that and then it's got like little pockets and stuff inside which is really handy i know you can't see that but <laughs> how weird do i look but yeah it's got these little pockets inside which is cool and it's got this little contraption on the top this looks like something sporty to me and i feel like that is why i don't recognize what this is <laughs> is it to like attach it to your bike or something or just attach it to things in general i don't know but anyway yeah cute and that's everything thank you so much to social little thing for working with me on this video and thank you to all of the brands who gifted me some amazing products i'm really excited to try them to wear them and yeah, I really enjoyed filming this. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you enjoyed it, what your favourite item was, what kind of videos do you want to see on my channel coming up. I want your ideas and give the video a cheeky little thumbs up as well if you enjoyed it as always guys and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye!